Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the hash map. So the hash map is a nonlinear data structure used for storing data in a set of keys and values. So let's start by creating our hash map. Let's say hash map. And then we need to define the data type we need to use in our hash map. So we have right here a key and the second one is a value. And now in this case, our key, we're going to use an integer and in our value, we're going to use a string. Then, then we need to give it a name. Let's call it map. It's going to be equal to new hash map. Then we need to import the hash map from Java to Tuto. Let's print it down here to see how it looks. And run our program. So now it's empty. We can start by adding element to it. Let's say map dot. So these are all the methods we can use in our hash map. Right now we're going to use the put method to add elements in our map. Let's give it a key, which is an integer value. And then we give it, we're going to give it a string, which is our value. Let's say for example, A. Then let's run and see how it looks. We can add another one to A. Let's give it B. You can see how it's added. Now we can add elements only if it hasn't been added, added before. You can say map put if absent and then in our key we're going to give it a key let's say for example to right now and then let's give it the value of c if we are in the program we notice it's the same it hasn't been added because it's already exists in our hash map but if we give it a new key then it's going to be added because it's uh, the first time it's been added to our hash map and we could also remove elements from, from our map. Let's remove the element with the key too. See it's removed. And we can, we can also see the size of our map right here. And we could also get a value from our map. Let's get the value of one. Now it's A, and we could check if uh, a certain value exists, or a key, say contains key, and let's give it the number one. It would return true, because the key one exists in our hash map, and then let's check if it has a value. say for example f it returns false because we don't have the value f in our hash map we could also replace a value let's say for example let's replace this c say map dot replace let's give it the index the key we want to replace which is 3 and then we need to replace it with the letter D you notice this one is going to be changed to BD because we replaced it right here and we also could loop through the map by saying for integer key from our map dot key set Then we're going to print the key. This should print all the keys in our hash map, which are one and three. And we could also do, do it similarly, but for the values for string value from our map with values. We just print the 
the value. How it prints all the values in our hash map. Mm. We could do it in a different way if we want the value and the key all together. Let's say for map, we're going to use the map dot entry. And then we need to specify the data type for the key and the value. So the key will be an integer. And the value will be a string. And now let's give it a name, m. And from map dot entry set. We could just print the entry, which is m. Now it prints the keys and the values. And we could also take the keys and values in a different way. We can say call the name of the hash map dot for each. And then right here, we're going to give it give a name for our key. Let's call it key. And then a name for our value. And then in the function right here and then do whatever we want we could print the keys or the values or we can do any other code with these two variables let's print our key right now so it brings all the keys and we could also print all the values so if you want to see these are the methods we used in today's tutorial these are the main ones and you can see this uh, code in the GitHub repository. You can find it in the description down below. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and catch me on the next one.